that time where I almost got shot by the police at my own music video shoot. Let me give y'all a little context. So I was shooting this music video back in 2020, and this was during the pandemic. This was during the George Floyd time too. So it was a crazy time period for something like this to happen, right? So this music video is called No Regrets. It was a music video where I scripted it. I had actors and actresses. In this video, we used a fake pistol. There was a scene with a shootout that was part of the storyline. So we had a fake pistol with BB shots in it. And it was blue and gray, but painted it black for the scene. So it looked real. You understand what I'm saying? So let me play the scene for you. Mind you, the scene is only five seconds long. We only use five seconds of the shooting footage for the video. It's so quick. So I'm gonna play it in slow motion so you can see the pistol. Had to make my mark, pen writing profit verses. Lay my heart inside these words. Nothing is for certain. Tomorrow's not a given. God could close my curtains. So essentially in this scene, one of the protagonists is being shot at. He's in a shootout and he survives the shootout. So I'm the one with the gun, fake firing it while the camera, the camera lady has a camera right behind my hand while I'm shooting the pistol. So while we're shooting these scenes and they have the camera on us, I'm just, just trying to keep it low, not trying to OD, just using it for the scenes, keeping it low like nobody sees it. But eventually I see people walking around Somebody walking across the street like this. Then you had somebody in the window like. So I'm like, all right, let's 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 wrap this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, while I'm, sh while I'm aiming the gun and we shooting something. Whoop, 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 whoop. You got cop cars rolling up. I'm talking about eight vans, bro. The police stopped their cars and they was on a speaker. Keep your hands in the air. Don't move. And I'm there like, oh shit. <laughs> like, I'm just holding it like. <laughs> I'm talking about it's mad at them. They just started coming. Like you ever seen those clowns come out the little cars? It was so many cops coming out of the car. I didn't even know it was that many of them fitting in there. Six of these niggas get out this car. Six of these niggas get out the other car. Then another one rolled it up to respond. And they got the pistols pointed at me. They like, hold it, don't move. And I'm like, it's a prop, it's a prop, it's a prop. And they like, put it down. I'm like, all right, I'm putting it down slowly. Look at me, put the prop down. I put the shit down, I'm like, go ahead, take it, take it. They came up, they picked it up, they was like, oh, you can't play around like that. I'm not, I'm not playing around, they got, I'm trying to do a video. And they're like, you gotta have a permit. You know, you can't just be shooting it without letting the cops know and it, the city gotta know. You can't just do stuff like that. Whole time they talking, two things going through my head. One, these niggas could have killed me because they thought it was a real gun. Two, which one of y'all bitch ass niggas snitched on me? Who snitched on me? Who told on me just now? Why? Why? Did you see me trying to shoot somebody? You saw a camera. If you see a camera on me, what you think I'm trying to do? My camera lady was a Ukrainian lady, half Ukrainian, half Russian with her long blonde hair with a camera in her hand and holding up a, a tripod and all of this other stuff. What you thought I was trying to do? Record myself killing somebody or something? You almost got me killed for what? And the police was just like, yo, you're so lucky. And what a time for you to be doing something like this. This could have went completely left. And he's referring to George Floyd and his unfortunate passing away. So he's like, you know, this could have been another situation going on at the same time. And here comes this white cop and he starts talking like, well, I have a family to go home to. This could have went any type of way. And I'm thinking to myself, bro, shut up. Like now, now you're making it sound like I could have killed you, nigga, but because I got a family, I could have got scared. Like, you trying to cop-splain me right now, bro? You trying to cop-splain me, nigga? So they rode off. They even let us keep the prop, but they said don't use it no more. But I got the footage I needed, and you know what I'm saying, nobody got shot. I mean, most likely it would have been me because I was holding the pistol. And the whole time they were talking to me, more cop cars was pulling up. So it's just, it's so much going on right now over this fucking prop. Anyways, I was lucky as fuck. And it's funny because if you watch the music video, you probably wouldn't peep it unless you really slow it down. Like, it, it wasn't even that long. It wasn't even that serious, bro. Anyways, I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad I dropped the gun. 
And I'm glad I dropped that motherfucking video. So when you're done with this, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the storytelling. Go check out the acting. I scripted it. I made the actors have lines and all of that. Like, I really went in on this project. So if you have some extra time today and you want to enjoy some good music and enjoy a good little story, go check out No Regrets, man. And there's some more music on the way. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my music channel. Subscribe to this channel. And just stay tuned for the next episode of Elkie TV. You dig?